Good evening, everybody. As you know, somebody has recently stolen all of our cool stuff. I have taken it upon myself to search high and low for the most likely suspect. It has been a long and tiring task, but recently I came across the most likely suspect. There is a Russian arms dealer named Sluka who Whoa. deals in illegal weapons and magic. Now what we don't have is anything to confront him with. Uh -oh. This is the full extent of our weaponry. I ordered a magic wand and it never showed up. I had a wonderful magical hammer, but I think I left it in an Uber. What I need from you is to find a way to find Sluka. I need something so powerful it can tear apart the very fabric that ties our universe together and build a portal right to our enemy. And what about this? Then we can confront Chris. him and we can get back our cool stuff. Chris, Chris, Adrian, right I am monologuing. What do you want? Yes. Perfect. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? Love me. All right, Crater Hater, we've come to... Oh my god, this looks really bad. Fail, fail, fail. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Obviously, this is a green screen shot, but if you have a pro account on Production Crate, you can download this footage and follow along. The same footage, the same. Now, we do have a pretty awesome green screen setup here at the Production Crate secret headquarters. Ooh, whoa. Whoa. Yeah, but the space to move is a little limited. So we mounted the camera onto a slider. As Adrian and I step forward, the wonderful director of photography, Alex, whoa, whoa. moves the camera forward to make it seem like we are covering more distance than we actually do. We used a ring light to simulate some uh, light. Well, well, some light, yeah. <laughs> While we're supposed to be in the portal, we should also be in the dark. Life in the portal is dark. Very scary in there. So by fading the light on in time with our step, we can make it look more like we're stepping out of something. So we needed to time the acting, the light, and the camera move to get them all perfectly in sync. Can you believe we did it on our first try? I literally cannot. And that's because that was what a lie is called. <laughs> Our first lie here on Production oh, no. Crate. Thank you for sharing this monumentous moment with us. <laughs> Our first lie. <laughs> Scrub to the middle of the shot and apply the key light effect to get rid of that green. It should be a pretty easy and clean key, except when we scrub back to the beginning or end, you'll see that we have some pretty gnarly shadows. Ordinarily, we would have lit the green screen a bit better or we need to do some roto work to get rid of those shadows. But in this Gross. case, we are gonna use those shadows shadows to our advantage. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Go to Footage Crate and download the Infinity Portal effect and drop it behind your actors. For those of you that are curious, this portal effect was built in 3DS Max with Fume FX and was stylized in After Effects. We have free versions at 720p and pro versions at 4K, so everybody, yes you, can recreate this tutorial. Whoa. Hit this button right here, right here. It's called the Preserve Underlying Transparency Switch. On the footage of your actors, they are now using the alpha channel of the portal as a mask. Cool. Neat. When you hit this switch, whatever layer you hit it on is going to use the alpha channel of all of the layers that are below it as a mask. That's what it does. Duplicate the actors or actor and uncheck the switch on the duplicate. This changes them back to normal. Apply, apply, apply. Apply a matte choker effect to get rid of the shadows. You can actually turn the choke level down to about 30 and the geometric softness down to zero. Duplicate Duplicate the portal layer as well and set it to a lightened transfer mode. This makes it so that the smoke appears over the actors, but the black part of the portal does not. Draw a circular mask on the top portal in the black part, not covering up the smoke, and set it to subtract. Over time, as your actors step through the portal, animate the mask expansion to get rid of all the smoke. You can feather this out as well. You can also use the preserve underlying transparency switch, or you can say putts switch. The putts switch. You can use the putts switch on this layer so you're not doubling up on any edges. Putts is an acronym for preserve underlying transparency switch. Whoa! You can also use Use an exposure effect to make your actors look even darker when they're inside the portal. And use the curves as well to add in some extra blue. Ooh. And then just go ahead and animate these back down to normal as they step out. Free compose all the portal and actor layers together before you put them on a background. Otherwise, you're gonna get some crazy issues related to Ooh. those putts. 
we've been clicking all day. As it turns out, our audio on this shot was womp, womp, womp. Less than amazing. So we ended up having to do some ADR. What does that stand for? Advanced Dialogue Replacement. I know that you love acronyms. Yeah, we're all about those acronyms today. This was a blessing in disguise <laughs> because it gave us the chance to get a little bit more creative with how we say our lines. All right, creator hater, we've come to, oh my God, this looks really bad. Pride. All right, creator hater, we've come <laughs> to, oh my God, this looks really bad. All right, creator hater. All right, creator hater. All right, creator hater. All right, player creator hater, we've come to, oh my God. All right, creator hater, we've come to, oh my God, this looks really bad. All right, player, jolly good. <laughs> Whoa. It was delicately balanced. Production crate. Professional. Bail. 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 the science guy. Nice. All right, crater hater, we've come to. Oh my god, this looks really bad. Bail. 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 Sound design. Thunder, lightning, wind, bass drops. With all these ingredients, I can construct the perfect. No, the best. No, the perfect sound design for the Thanos portal. You have the power to create your own style because as a creator, that is what you do. Get out there, make it awesome. I'm fired up, Adrian, take it away. Since this tutorial was pretty short, now let's go through the other effects from the sketch rapid fire style. Look around. <laughs> First of all, Sluka's warehouse wasn't actually burned down. What? It was just augmented with fire, smoke, and spark assets from Footage Crate. We also use scorch marks, building damage, and rubble effects from GraphicsCrate.com. Whoa, that sounds new. Oh, yeah. Wait around for this shot of Chris expertly catching the Infinity Gauntlet. It's reversed. What? We actually did a shot of me pulling the glove off of Chris's hand, reversed it, and blurred out my stupid fingers. Let him out. Fingers. And as for my perfect haircut, that was all done in camera, baby. Nice. Oh, yeah. Lightning round over. And that is that. Now, we usually don't announce the next Saturday morning tutorial because, well, we are rarely sure of what we want to do this far ahead of time, but this time we are 78% sure we are going to do some Venom effects. It's going to be sweet. Sweet. Mm -hmm. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be sweet. Is gonna, it's gonna be whoa. whoa! Give us more ideas and we'll give you more tutorials. That's the arrangement we have, so don't flake. Crate out. Wait up! Whoa!